Hello everyone, today we're going to be playing part two of my Stardew Valley Let's Play challenge series. Just as a little reminder, our goals for year one are to complete all of the remixed community center bundles, get married, have an aesthetically pleasing farm layout, collect all of the star drops, and become a millionaire. I also wanted to add in one more thing. I wanted to collect all of the hidden fishable items in year one. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later in this video. And let me just say, these goals are a lot harder than I thought. If you're not caught up on the first 30 days in part one, be sure to check out that first before watching this video. And if you did already watch part one and you saw my pinned comment, then you may know about the Linus situation. And I think I owe Linus an apology. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll leave part one of this video linked in the description and also up here somewhere. So without any further ado, let's get into this summertime playthrough. It is a big day, my friends. It is the first day of summer, which means we have to buy a bunch of new crops. And we have to stock up on peppers, especially for our one and only Shaney Poo. I don't have quality sprinklers unlocked just yet, but I'm going to set up my crops in a way that will be able to just pop them in as soon as I make them. I made a new chest that's gonna hold our crops since our forageables chest is getting kind of full. And I went ahead and ate an autumn's bounty and I'm gonna spend the rest of the day harvesting materials on the farm. Our baby chicks should be growing up any day now, which is exciting. Speaking of chickens, let's talk about our chicken man, AKA Shane. I'm gonna keep it real, Shane is like, at the bottom of my bachelor bachelorette list of NPCs that I would be willing to marry. I don't know, man. I know a lot of y'all love him, but just something about him to me has never really been that appealing. I don't know. But we are taking one for the team for the sake of the challenge. And who knows, maybe I'll get to know him better and things will change. I just can't get over his messy ass room, you guys. Maybe we can try to redecorate it though. After clearing out the farm, I planted a few mixed seeds that I found along the way. I checked my fruit bat cave and we got some goodies in there. Chopped down a few more trees, emptied my inventory and went to bed. And we didn't sell anything today, so we made no money. Yay. I'm gonna water my crops and after that, I think I'm gonna go try to catch the octopus and just get that out of the way. The octopus can only be caught between 6 a.m. and 1 p.m. in the summer, and it can be a kind of hard fish to catch sometimes. Oh my god, you guys, I manifested our chickens growing. And we got eggies! I know I need 10 of the white small eggs for one of the remixed bundles, so we'll definitely keep those. I went to go try to catch the octopus and it was a lot harder than I anticipated. We might have to buy some bobbers to help make it a bit easier. And we for sure need to fix this beach bridge in order to catch the summer legendary fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that down on our handy dandy to-do list. Let's go ahead and make a few community center donations. After donating everything I could find, I actually found a grape on my way home and then went back to the community center to finish the summer foraging bundle. We got some summer seeds, which I'm honestly just going to sell straight from the packets because quite frankly, I don't wanna waste the energy watering all of them every single day and you can make decent money off of the packets alone. I made a preserve jar and put in a simple spice berry since we have to donate a jelly to the community center and I don't wanna waste a good quality jelly for that. I am super low on energy though, so I think I'm just going to call it a night here. And we made 3,639 gold. I told you the pack could sell for a decent buck. I'm trying to decide what I wanna do today. I was thinking about maybe buying a barn, but I don't think that's at the top of our priority list right now. I think I'm gonna go try to give the octopus another go and I'm gonna bring a good meal with me so that we can head to the mines right after and try to make it down five to 10 levels. I got big ambitions today. Let's see if we can do it. Ah, Lewis's lucky purple shorts. Lewis, I think you should know better by now. Your secret is not safe with me, sir. Let's get our inventory ready for the day and try to catch that octopusy. And after another failed attempt at the octopus, I went ahead and bought some trap bobbers to hopefully make it a bit easier to catch. Not only do I need this octopus for the master angler star drop, but I also need it for the community center. So we are killing two birds with one stone with this octopus. Next time we come to the beach, we definitely need to open up that beach bridge because I forgot to do that today. And then we'll be able to also try to catch the legendary fish along with the octopus. That is if we don't catch the octopus today, which it is not looking very hopeful because it is almost one. And yeah, it's another unsuccessful octopus day. Why is this one kind of harder than the legend was? 
Anyways, let's go mining. After the mines, we need to remember to stop by the saloon to give Shane another beer. And after a long evening of mining, we made it down another five levels down to level 55. And on the last level, I got a forest sword from a special slime. And thank God, because Lord knows I needed a better sword. I headed over to the saloon to give Shane another beer. I went home and crafted a mayo machine, chopped some wood and went to bed. We reached level three combat and level four mining. And I once again forgot to sell things, but I did sell my fish to Willy, so we did technically make money. After watering my crops, I went to the beach and unlocked the beach bridge with 300 wood and tried to catch the octopus and the summer legendary fish. I had two extra trout soups on me, so I brought those to eat as well. All right, here goes nothing. First catch of the day. Is this the octopus? I don't think so. Oh, maybe it, maybe it is the octopus. Um, yeah, yeah, I think this is the octopus. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, oh my god, it is the octopus. Hell yeah, dude, we freaking did it. Wait a second. Oh my god, now we have the legend. What if I catch them one after the other? Oh my god, I'm sweating. Oh my god, y'all. Oh, oh, uh, come on, come on. Uh, damn it. Well, I guess I'll just keep fishing till my trout soup wears off. After a little bit of fishing, my trout soup wore off and my inventory was so full, so I went home to clear it out. And while putting things away, I realized I had extra melon seeds and a starfruit seed, so I went ahead and planted those and a few other mixed seeds. I chopped some more wood because we basically just used all of it on that beach bridge and I did a few little things around the farm and then headed to bed. We made 2,341 gold. Today the plan is to go fish in the mountain lake and try to catch the sturgeon and the rainbow trout. But first we must check the traveling cart, buy a rare seed, and I also said fuck it and bought a ghost fish for the community center. And shortly after I realized I don't actually need the ghost fish for the community center so that's great. I bought a few extra crops, planted them, and headed to the mountain lake to go fishing. I've been thinking, and I think buying a barn might be a little bit of a higher priority than I originally thought, because we need sheep in order to get wool for bundles, and sheep aren't unlocked until the last barn upgrade, so I mean we should probably do that kind of soon. And I got the rainbow trout, but I unfortunately was not able to catch the sturgeon today. I headed back home and gave Linus a peace offering from my past actions in part one of this let's play and made a couple community center donations. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried about this red cabbage. It's a summer seed that is only sold in year two unless the traveling cart sells it. And I checked the option that she's guaranteed to sell it, but I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know. There's still some time, but we'll see, I guess. I said hi to Shane, went home and crafted a bee house. I set a reminder to buy some flowers for better quality honey and I went to bed. We made 2,454 gold. Our last two summer exclusive fish that we have to catch are the legendary crimson fish from the ocean and the dorado from the forest river. I'm beginning to realize that this playthrough is majority of the time just going to be me fishing so I can get the damn fishing star drop. It's honestly so stressful. I usually spend all day everyday mining when I play Stardew on my own time and it pains me to not be mining. The children yearn for the mines, god damn it. Also, I forgot to let my chickens out yesterday and they don't have any hay, so I'm so sorry, chickies. Please forgive me. I'm a terrible mother. I re-upped on some energy and headed over to the forest river to try to catch the Dorito. And after a few in-game hours of fishing, we got the orange boy. Now all that's left that we absolutely need to catch this season is the crimson fish. And while I'm down here, I'm gonna eat some leeks and chop some wood. I really need to get my axe upgraded very soon. I'm trying to decide what I wanna do for the rest of the day. I have like no energy, so I can't do much. Let's just take a little hot girl walk to the beach to forage a little bit and fill up our crab pot. Maybe dig through a trash can or two. After that, I planted a couple seeds and headed to bed. We reached level five foraging and you know, I always usually choose gatherer, but I don't know. I think I'm feeling forester today. I could really use the extra wood, not gonna lie. And we made 1,616 gold. It's a neutral luck day and we learned the recipe for baked fish. After watering my crops and whatnot, I chopped a few trees and went over to Clint's to break open some geodes and upgrade my axe. Then I made some museum donations and got some pumpkin seeds as a reward. 
I checked the traveling merchant and bought a rare seed, then I headed over to the mines, ate an autumn's bounty for energy and defense, and progressed 5 levels and got a glow ring and a new dagger along the way. I'll probably still stick with my regular forest sword that I found a few days ago. I cleared out my inventory and I picked up some fruit from my cave. Oh, also we have peppers now, which are one of Shane's loved items, so we gotta keep that thing on us. Okay, it's time for bed. We made 440 gold. After watering my crops and taking care of my chickens, I made my way over to the beach to give the crimson fish another go. I bought some bait, trout soup, and an extra tapper and started fishing. And our first cast into the ocean was indeed the summer legend. Yeah, bitch, that's how it's done! Alright, I'm gonna use the rest of this fishing buff and catch some more fishies for some more money. After catching some fish, I chased down Shane with a pepper. Let me tell you something! 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 And he finally said his first nice words to me. This is a big moment, y'all. And we got a new friendship achievement. And we're now at five hearts with him. I went home and crafted a new chest so I could put community center items separate from everything else. I also crafted another scarecrow to protect my precious crappies. I went and scythed some fiber in Cindersap Forest and got some exceeds. I planted those and went to bed. And we reached level 10 fishing. Now I usually pick angler, but if we're gonna unlock the sewers in year one to get the Krobus star drop, we are gonna need a lot of museum items, which we can find in treasure chests. So I think I'm gonna go with pirate for now. And we made 3,477 gold. After taking care of my dailies, I bought some crops and made my way over to Clint to pick up my new copper axe. And on my way there, I got the infamous and sort of rare garbage can hat. I am the trash man. Shut up, Lewis. Do I look like someone who cares about you seeing me dig through the trash? I'm literally the trash man. Now let's put this bad boy to use. After I plant my new crops, of course. And now we have a steady source of hardwood, which is a big, big W. After chopping wood, I made a trip to the community center to make a few donations, completed the construction bundle, and paid 2,500 for the vault bundle. I gave Shane his second gift of the week and decided to eat one of the cakes that I got for completing some of the vault bundle, and I spent the rest of the night fishing. After a long night of catching fish, I sold my stash and went to bed. We made 2,342 gold. It's a lucky day today. Tomorrow is the luau. I think our best quality item that we can put in the luau soup is a gold strawberry, which according to the wiki will give us the second best response, which will grant us 60 friendship points with everyone in the town. I'm gonna chop some wood so we can get a new barn today. Let's put it here, I, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's go to the mines today, shall we? I ate some trash cookies to refill my energy because I'm the trash man. I made it 10 levels down, but I ended up staying pretty late, so we gotta run home. Okay, we made it. We reached level six foraging and unlocked the recipe for quality sprinklers. And we made 536 gold. Oh, we are definitely making sprinklers immediately. Let's get some more bars cooking. And while those cook, I'm gonna water my crops and- Oh yeah, today's the luau. We have till two to get there, so I'm just gonna finish a few dailies, craft a couple sprinklers, place them, grab my gold strawberry, and head on over. And here we are. Let's say hi to everyone for a couple friendship points. Put our straw in the soup and start the event. And to no surprise, the soup was a success. And when I got home, I made another crab pot to catch things in fresh water, put some more bars to cook, and went to bed. We made 190 gold, oof. Good morning, it's going to thunderstorm tomorrow, so I'm strongly considering whether or not I should upgrade my watering can today. It would save me a lot of time and energy, but I just unlocked the sprinkler recipe, so I don't know, maybe it's not totally worth it. You know what, yeah, I think I'm just gonna hold off and just work on making sprinklers. After doing my dailies, I checked the traveling merchant and she's selling a battery pack, which I will definitely need later on. So I think I'm gonna buy that instead of a rare seed today because I unfortunately only have the money for one. I went back home and chopped some hardwood and in doing so, we got some mahogany seeds. So I went ahead and planted those so that we can get some hardwood trees going in because those give a really good amount of hardwood. I usually put tree fertilizer on my hardwood trees, but I don't have any yet, so this will have to do. I spent some more time harvesting materials from the 
the farm and damn, do I really need to get a silo so I can get rid of all this grass. It's beginning to get a little bit out of hand, not gonna lie. Since it's going to thunderstorm tomorrow, I really, really need to try to level up my foraging up to level six to unlock the lightning rods. Because thunderstorms are a little bit uncommon, especially once fall rolls around. And I'm almost up to level six foraging, so I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day chopping trees and hopefully reach level six before the night ends. I was starting to run out of trees on my own farm, so I came down to Cindersap Forest to hopefully finish this off. And we did it! I went home and planted a few mixed seeds that I found along the way and headed to bed. We reached level six foraging, of course, and unlocked that lightning rod, and we made exactly 600 gold. There are a few fish that can only be caught in the rain, so I think I'm gonna try to get all of those today. Fingers crossed. All right, let's craft um, four lightning rods for now. We can go ahead and put them right here. Whoa, that was good timing. I stopped by Willy to buy some bait and started fishing for the first fish of the day, the red snapper. And after a few fish, I caught the red boy. I'm gonna sell all the other fish I caught to Willy and move on to the next one. The next two fish that I need to catch still are the shod and the catfish, which can both be caught in the town or forest river. And after a little bit of fishing, we got the shod. All that's left now is the catfish. We are running low on inventory space though, so hopefully it appears soon. And after fishing all night, I still hadn't caught the catfish, so I cut my losses and headed to bed. We made 6,223 gold. Nice. We learned the recipe for pancakes today, yummy, and also the traveling merchant is in town once again. I think I'm gonna make some community center and museum donations today. We have a lot of money right now, so we should be able to pay off some of the vault bundle as well. Oh, and our barn is ready today too, cool. I crafted a second mayo machine now that we have all of the eggs that we need for the community center. I made a bunch of community center donations broke open some geodes, made some museum donations, and went to the traveling merchant to buy a rare seed, and then went to Marnie to buy a cow. Oh, also, as I walked in to buy a cow, Shane was having a bit of a breakdown, so I watered him. I think we're all good now. I finally put a fence around my animals because I'm tired of chasing them around every morning, and then I went to go catch a few fish. And while I was fishing, we caught a super cucumber, another fish to check off the list for our star drop. And after a little bit of fishing, I used up the rest of my energy collecting materials on the farm and headed to bed. We made 1,766 gold. After doing my dailies of tending to my crops and petting my animals, I decided today was a mining day. I only need one more item to complete the minecarts bundle, which will be a huge time saver, so I'm gonna try to get that completed today. After making it five levels down, I got my hands on 10 bone fragments. I went to the community center to make my last donation to the boiler room bundle. And we have our first community center room fully complete. I went home and I crafted myself a worm bin so that I could start spending less money on bait from now on. And I spent the rest of the night fishing because I need to get my money up, dude. And after another long night of fishing, I went home, sold my stash, chopped a singular tree, checked my fruit bat cave, and went to bed. The Junimos fixed the minecarts. We reached level seven farming and made 3,370 gold. It's a good luck day today, so I think it's gonna be another day of mining. So like I mentioned in part one of this series, the ultimate goal for this save is to reach perfection. So after this first year, I'm considering starting the perfection series in a live stream form instead of edited let's plays. Or if you guys prefer the edited video format, that's cool too. Just let me know in the comments which one you would prefer. We made really good progress in the mines today. We even got a level five bone sword and we got some new boots. What are those? We made it down to level 85 in the mines. Then I went home and I decided to make another preserves jar and I went to bed. We reached level five mining, chose miner, level four combat, and we made 5,712 gold. I think I'm gonna go try to catch the sturgeon to complete this bundle today. But first, I'm gonna break open a few geodes at Clint's and make a couple museum donations. We need about 15-ish more donations to unlock the sewer key. Oh my God, you guys, I totally forgot that I unlocked the mine carts. I really walked my ass all the way over when I could have just teleported. I really gotta get used to these being open now. All right, we have until seven to catch a sturgeon in the mountain lake. All right, y'all, I've been fishing for a little bit and I think this might be the sturgeon. It's just acting a little bit feisty. So I guess we'll see. 
Hey, we got the sturgeon. Let's go home and get a few things to bring to the community center along with the sturgeon. I also really quickly stopped by Marnie's to buy a milk pail before she closes and then made some more community center donations. We completed two bundles and got a keg, which is amazing. I also blew all of my money on the 10K vault bundle. I put a grape in our new keg, crafted a new chest to hold our new milk pail, put some iron bars to cook and spent the rest of the night fishing in the mines on level 60 so I could catch myself a ghost fish for the master angler star drop and i tried to catch the ice pip as well but he was a little too feisty for me today so i went home and cleared out my inventory and went to bed we made 3264 gold i have no idea what i want to do today we have no more summer exclusive fish to catch anymore so i think i might just go mining it's a bad luck day though but i don't know what else to do with my day you know what they say when in doubt mine it out actually i don't think i've heard anyone say that in my life so we made it a cheeky five levels down and we got the obsidian edge finally and we even got another dwarf scroll i stopped by jojo to give shane his second pepper of the week and we're making pretty decent progress with shane i donated my dwarf scroll and collected my new rewards i went home and harvested some wood and called it a bit of an early night we made 1469 gold nice the traveling merchant is in town today and we also have another thunderstorm tomorrow. I'm really trying to save up 25k to complete the vault bundle so that we can unlock the desert and skull cavern. Although I still haven't reached the bottom of the regular mines yet to get the skull keys so we should probably do that first. But we're not too far off from the bottom so it shouldn't be too hard. It is another bad luck day but I literally have nothing else to do besides go mining so to the mines. After I buy a rare seed of course. She still isn't selling a red cabbage seed which is honestly very very worrisome. I think our only hope at this point is to unlock the greenhouse and hold out hope that she will have a red cabbage someday in her rotation. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm digging so many holes, it's because I'm trying to find the rest of the dwarf scrolls. We only need two more, so I'm really trying to seek them out. And digging holes in the dirt in the mines is a really good way to find them. And I did in fact end up getting another dwarf scroll on level 95. Only one more scroll to go. And I'm gonna spend the rest of the night harvesting materials on the farm once again. As you guys know, in part one of this series, I thought the enemy was Linus, but I was very much mistaken. Do you know who the real enemy is? This bitch right here. Like, why hasn't she sold me a red cabbage seed? She's single-handedly trying to sabotage me completing the community center in year one. I swear to God, if I complete everything except for that cabbage, we are fighting. After harvesting my materials, I went to bed and we reached level 6 mining and made 1,774 gold. It's another stormy day today, so we're gonna try to catch the catfish once again. I'm gonna keep it so real with y'all. I just had to restart this day because I have been tricked. I did my dailies and I started trying to catch the catfish. The guide that I've been using said that I can catch the catfish in the town or forest river during summer or fall in the rain, but I decided to check the wiki just to make sure. And lo and behold, the guide lied to me. I can only catch it in the secret woods pond or the witch's swamp, and I can't access the secret woods legally because I only have a copper axe. So uh, don't mind me. You didn't see shit, all right? I'm allowed to do this because I got duped, okay? All right, I'm glad we're in agreement here. Ooh, ooh, I think this might be it, y'all. It's a little bit of a feisty one. Hey, we got the catfish on our first cast. Nice. I caught a few more fish just to make some quick money and I chopped the hardwood stumps while I was here and decided to take a quick trip over to the mines and I almost made it to level 100 but it was getting late and it's a bad luck day so I wasn't feeling too hopeful about finding two more ladders so I just decided to take the L and go home. I chopped a few trees and went to bed. We made 2,776 gold. Oh yeah, Shane had a bit of a breakdown last night before I went to the secret woods. He good though, don't worry. After doing my dailies, I went to go check the traveling cart and a red cabbage seed. They say they take nine days to mature, so we unfortunately don't have enough time to grow it. Unless, what if we make speed grow? I might have some in a chest, let's go look. Oh, hell yeah. I retract my hell yeah. Instead of nine days, it's gonna take eight days and that's one day too many. I think I'm just gonna have to unlock the greenhouse and grow it that way. Time to restart the day so I can get my damn seed back. 
All right, let's buy this freaking red cabbage seed again. What do you say we go get our first star drop? To the mines. I cannot believe the traveling merchant just played me like that. It's literally one day off from being able to grow. She was really about to have a whole last redemption arc, but no, I think she really is just trying to sabotage me. I think she's preying on my downfall. She is not a girl's girl, I can tell you that much. I think we have a new public enemy, number one, but she will not win. I'm gonna unlock that damn greenhouse by the end of fall, even if it's the last thing I do. But yeah, at level 100, there is a star drop. Wait, what is this hat? Oh my god, we are so fitted. And we made it to level 100. Oh my god, I forgot that I made my favorite thing concerned ape. If you didn't know, you get a little secret message for making him your favorite thing. Now that we reached level 100 in the mines, I think I'm gonna go try to catch the lava eel for the master fisher's bundle, which can only be caught on level 100. I don't remember if this is a hard fish to catch or not, so let's find out. And I literally only caught trash for hours, which was just great. I love wasting all my bait on trash. And I was about to give up when I finally got a hit and he did put up a bit of a fight but in the end we got the long boy after that i went home and went to bed we reached level 5 combat chose fighter and made 2173 gold it is officially day 50 of this challenge, my friends. Ooh, we got a cloth from the trash machine. Nice. I'm not sure what I want to do today again. The main thing I need to do right now is get my money up because we still need to upgrade our barn and coop and also unlock the last vault bundle for 25k. Oh my god, another cloth. I'm gonna head over to Clint's. Let me in. Let me in. Break open some geodes, make a few more museum donations, and donate some more stuff to the community center. We're making really good progress on these bundles. We finished the Master Fisher bundle, which if you remember, I was super nervous about in part one, but it wasn't actually that hard, so let's go. And I'll probably just fish for the rest of the day, to be honest. Fishing is a really good money maker for me. I do need to buy some more bait though, so let's do that and then get to fishing. And after another long day of fishing, my inventory was full and it was starting to get a little late, so I headed home. On my way home, I said hello to Shane. I sold my stash, picked up a few fruits from my cave, and headed to bed. We made 6,730 gold. We are definitely going to upgrade a farm building tomorrow. We now have access to Emily's sewing machine. Thanks, girl. I'm thinking I'm going to upgrade my barn first so that we we can start getting goat cheese and make some good money off of that. Wait a second. It's Tuesday. Fuck, it's a Sunday. Tuesday means Robin is working out with the girlies. Well, I guess I'll just get that upgrade tomorrow. And y'all know what I do when I have nothing else to do. I go mining. It was a regular old mining trip. We made it 10 levels down, got some new space boots. I look so camp right now, you can't even lie. Afterwards, I went to the saloon to give Shane a pepper and fished for the rest of the night once again until I ran out of bait. I used up some of my energy harvesting materials on the farm, crafted another bee house, and went to bed. We reached level eight farming and finally unlocked the keg recipe and made 2,102 gold. All right, today we are actually getting that free barn upgrade. First we just have to take care of these crappies and tend to our animals and now we can head over to Robin and stand outside like a Karen as we wait for her to open and buy our barn upgrade. I'm also gonna go ahead and buy another cow because we only have one right now. Since we just used up a ton of wood for that barn upgrade I went home to harvest wood on the farm and then I decided that I wanted to gather even more wood so I went and started deforesting Cindersep Forest as one does. Then I stopped by the saloon to give Shane his second gold pepper of the week and besties look how close we are to eight hearts. I'm gonna go ahead and start growing a little tree orchard to put some tappers on. I crafted some wood planks and put them around the trees to stop them from spreading. I put down a few torches and went to bed. We reached level seven foraging. Ooh, we got tree fertilizer and we made 4,595 gold. After taking care of my dailies, I decided I wanted to go try to reach the bottom of the mines today. I was getting a little worried about this challenge and if I would be able to actually complete it, but I'm honestly feeling pretty hopeful. We are making really good progress. I think winter is gonna be the biggest grind to get all of our personal year one goals completed since you know we won't have to worry about crops every day. Winter is when I'm gonna try to fish up all of the hidden fishable items as well because that is one of our goals for year one. I didn't forget about those hidden fishables. I'm just waiting for winter. And we did it! We made it to the bottom and got the skull key. Now we just need to pay 25K to the vault bundle and we will be on our way to Skull Cavern. I went back to some of the earlier mine levels to see if I could dig up that dwarf scroll that I need to no avail. So I went home, emptied my inventory, sold a couple things and went to bed. We reached level seven mining and made 2,569 gold. 
Nice. After harvesting my crops and tending to my animals, I went to go check the traveling cart and I bought a rare seed. We are gonna make so much money on these in fall when they come in. It's gonna be awesome. Then I went to Marnie's and bought two more little chickies to fill up our coop. I also bought some hay while I was there because I still don't have a silo and I gotta feed my animals because it's raining. I crafted two more mayo machines for when our new chickies start producing eggs. And I also made an extra furnace. And since it's raining, I went to the secret woods again illegally to try to catch some more catfish because they sell for pretty good money. And while I was fishing, I caught one of the hidden fishable items, this cute little wall basket. And after catching a handful of fish, I chopped the hardwood while I was there and I went home to sell the fish I caught. And I also made a new chest for kind of miscellaneous things. I checked my fruit bat cave and we actually had a lot of stuff in there. I chopped some more hardwood and went to bed and we made 2,760 gold. It is storming again today. Oh my goodness, we are gonna have batteries for days. After after taking care of my dailies, I decided to go break open some geodes, donate what I could to the museum, and I went to go donate 10 plums to the community center, and then I realized I actually need 20 plums, not 10. Love that for me. So I went back home to clear my inventory, and I think I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night fishing. I stopped by Willie's to buy a little bit of bait, and I talked to the creepy old guy even though I knew he was gonna tell me I'm not ready for him yet. I just wanted to be sure. And after fishing for a while, my inventory got full, so I went home, sold my stash, and went to bed. We made 5,949 gold. Ladies and gents and non-binary friends, it's the last day of summer. After harvesting my crops and taking care of my animals, I went to the traveling cart to buy our last rare seed and she had five for sale. So I just said fuck it and bought all five. I mean, how could I not? It's literally my last chance to buy them. I never know what to do on the last day of each season. I guess I can just fish again to stock up on money for new crops tomorrow. Also the Moonlight Jellies Festival is tonight, so that should be cute and fun. After fishing in the town river for a little while, I decided to go try to catch the ice pip again. And after trying for that ice pip for a little while, I was starting to run out of energy, so I just gave up once again. I went home and kind of just did things around the farm as I waited for the Moonlight Jelly Festival. And as it reached 10 o'clock, I made my way over to the beach. At the festival, I bought a seafoam pudding, which will come in handy a little bit later when I try to catch this bad boy. And I went ahead and started the event. 